Hey everyone, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so I wanted, I am a little sick, um, I've had family come in and stay with us, um, so it's been kind of noisy around here, and it's kind of hard to make a video when it's noisy, and now my bird's flopping around, um, but what I'm going to do is come on here show y'all real quick how I make these for little library pockets I got this one and I made some of these these are not my ideas I got these from another lady and I cannot think of her name to save my life um, but I got the idea from her and kind of just put my own little tweak on them. But at this one, I put a little butterfly on it. thought that was kind of cute. Um, first thing we're going to do is make these, though. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> I've got these little books, which are like back in the 1980s, um, but they have some, oh, I have not looked in this one, didn't know that was there, cool, um, but I take the paper out because it's older, so I've, I've already got vintage paper, but I also take and <clears throat> get some distressing, this is vintage photo, and what I do is I take and distress it even more I hope everyone's been doing good and I will try to come on here and start making more videos I do apologize just didn't think that it was quite fair to y'all. I tried to make a video with it noisy. And there's no promises on how long I'll be able to record today with um, with it being quiet. Just when my grandson decides to get up. Just to stress the whole page. Then I flip it. I open it because <clears throat> with this paper being so thin, when you make the flowers, um, it won't punch unless it's double. So what I do is I distress the first page. And then I leave the back of it alone. Don't have to worry about that because that's the back of the flower. But I do go to this one and I distress it. Okay. And I am going to be kind of quiet today. Um, as you can hear, my throat is very sore just getting over it strap throat or something I don't know I haven't went to the doctor but hey I'm starting to get over it a couple days ago I had no voice whatsoever so at least I've got some of my voice back
doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want to get some distress on there. Okay, and then you close it back. And I, I don't worry about this one either because that's going to be the back of the flower. So close it back. <clears throat> get your flower punch. Well, it's not wanting to come out now. There it goes. We're not going to punch a bunch out because um, I'm just kind of showing you what what I do. <clears throat> okay. So that gives you <clears throat> some flowers that's distressed. Okay, and then like I said, the back of them are not. And then I take either this one or this one. Normally I do a little bit of both because sometimes I use this one, sometimes I use the other one. Okay, now I'm going to get a couple of these. Okay, so that's how I get my flowers. Now, because on these, I put a flower on these. My lighting is not the best right now. I've had quite a few of my bulbs blow. I've got to go get some more. And I use a flower on these. You don't have to. It's just what I do. Okay. Now I take my distress ink. And I go around the tips, make them a little darker. I was going around the whole flower making it darker, but then I realized that about the only thing you could see was the tips, so I just do the tips. Just make the tips a little darker. Like I said, if you want to go around the <clears throat> edge of the whole flower, then by all means do. Um, but I'm just going around the tips. And if you don't want your hands all stained like <clears throat> mine get, you can put it down on the desk and just do it like this. And do the tips. They won't get as dark, but it still works. See? I don't know if you can see it or not, but like I said, my light lighting sucks right now. But I I like doing it like this because it gets the very tips of them darker.
Okay. Normally the little ones I don't really do too much. Um, I kind of just leave them like they are. You can go around the edges if you'd like. By all means, it's completely up to you. I messed those up, so <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention and it didn't get the corner. I don't know if you can see that if it focus. Anyway, it didn't do it right. Sorry, I was trying to straighten the camera. Get y'all all dizzy. <clears throat> um, like I said, it's it's all in how you want to do it. Um, really ain't much sense in doing this one because it's got a lot of black on it. Um, but you do that to them. And then you get two. Pick two out. And then you decide if you want to use what size flower you want to use on the center. Uh... Well, hold on just a minute. There they are. Um, okay. I think I'm going to use one of these this time. Well, I used one the last time too. And then you take something <clears throat> small. I'm using my little needle thing. And put it on the top side side that you want showing and you just barely push on it and roll it and it'll make it curve up you go all the way around the flower doing that and it'll make them curve up Do that to both of them. All the way around again. It does not look like it punched right. Give me just a sec. There. That's better. Okay. Then you got two flowers that's curved up. Now the center one, the one you use for the center. I do not, you can curl it if you want to. I don't. Um, I'll leave it flat. So what I do next is take the top one, turn it over. Take a little bit of glue. I'm using the Fabri-Tac. You do not have to use that kind of glue. You can use a glue stick. You can use Elmer's glue. Any kind of adhesive you want. Put a little drop on it. Then put it on top of this one. So you get the right and up straight. And then you want to turn it. Slightly. And make it where. Then turn it. And make it where. 
the top leaf is in between. See the bottom right there? You want to make the top one where it's covering that up. So you end up with that. Okay, and then you take your centerpiece that is straight. You don't curve it unless you want to. If you want to curve it, then curve it. But I keep mine straight. Put a little dab of glue. A little dab of do. Okay, put it on your flower right in between. If you have one like this, it'll fit. Right in between those those two, whoops, right in between those two. It'll cover that up. So you end up with, whoops, whoops string. You end up with that. Okay. And you take your flower. And you can either put a little pearl or diamond or leave it like it is or flower. I've been using these little buttons that I have. I got some little wood buttons. And I've been using those. Take some string, whatever color you want. But take a little bit of string, feed it through the hole, okay, and you take the other side. I don't even think I'm on camera. Feed it through a hole. Pull it through. Then you end up with this. This button has four holes, but I'm only using two. As you see. And then you got your string. Got one on this side. One on this side. With that. Then you take it, let me zoom in a little for you if I can. Wrong way. Okay. Take it, hold on just a sec, let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, take it <clears throat> and just tie it in a knot. Pull it tight. Okay, put it down. And then you just make bunny ears. Pull it tight. I'm recording. Okay. Pull it down a little to make little bunny ears. Well, that one twisted on me. Um. Anyway, you want to have a little bow. I don't know why that one twisted on me. Okay. Then you take it and you get some hot glue. Put just a dab of hot glue on the back. Make sure your flower is upright. 
the way you want it. Stick it directly in the middle. And then you have a flower for it. And your string, you can cut it to whatever length you want it. If you don't want to have string hanging, then cut it all the way up there. These are a little long for me, so i cut them down to about right there. I like having the string kind of hanging. I think it gives it a nice look. Okay, and then you're done with your flower. You've done the easy part. Just kidding. All of it's easy. But. Okay. Then you take two book pages. Try and clean some of this up. Um, you take two book pages and glue them together. I'm trying to zoom it back out, but it's not letting me. There it goes. Okay. Take, where'd they go? Two book pages. Take some, I just use glue stick. You can use any kind of glue you want. Make sure it's good and glued on the edges. That's the most important part of it. It's the edges. Make sure they're good and glued. Oops. Well, that's not good. Um, glue on the inside of it. You gotta be kind of quick or glue will start drying on you. You want to make sure it don't do what mine's doing. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. Get glue all over it. Glue the pages together. What is wrong, copper? Glue it down. Got glue all over the back side of this. Okay. Make sure it's good and stuck together. And I'll show you real quick. Remember there was glue right here. reason you want to try your best not to get glue on the, this part of it is <clears throat> you distress it. Well, I distress it. And when you distress and glue gets on the outside, it does that. It makes it look weird. It, it doesn't look good when you go to distress if it's got glue, if it had glue on it. So... Well, make good and sure you don't get glue on the outside. <clears throat> if you do, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just you're going to be able to see it when you distress it, or if you distress it, you may not want to distress it. But I cut a little edge off of the this side where it's all tore, where I tore out the book. As you see, just a little piece of it. Okay, then you take and if you have a, 
I wish that would quit falling. If you have one of these boards, you want to put it on it. Use this end. Um, I gotta cut that. Sorry. It, didn't, it wasn't straight on there, so I had to cut just a sliver. You see, it's just a sliver. Okay. Now, you want to take your board. And I do it at um, it's half mark. I got these marks up here. There's zero and there's one. I did at the mark in between. So the half. Make sure it's getting straight. Mark it down. Okay. There's that fold. Okay, and then I turn it like this. And I mark it the same. Well, no, I don't. Sorry. You got this bin. And then you take this end. You want to go ahead and where you put the crease in it, you want to go ahead and bend it. Leave it bent. Take this end. Bring it all the way to it. Make it even. And then fold it. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have this. All right now, open it back up. Open this back up. This end was the bottom. So you want to put the marks down each side now. The same mark, the half. Um, one side you want to do the hole all the way down. The other side, now the crease is going to be up here. Alright, now this one, you want to just go halfway. Just halfway down the page to where it creases there. Okay. When you're done with this part, I put back things back where they go, it'd be easier. Um, you want to get some scissors and you're going to cut. This is the end that is got the little fold on it. So you're going to want to cut this off and this off. I had to make sure I was right. So I want to cut straight down and then cut it there. And then this one, you can do the same way. Okay. Now remember, you bent, or you use your bone folder, and you put a line all the way down one side. And just halfway on the other. The one that is not got the crease is your top. The one that has the crease is your bottom. So you'll want to take the one that has the crease and cut just a little piece off the corner to make it like that on both sides. Just makes it a little easier. And then this little crease, do it the same way. Cut the corners off. Okay. Then you fold this up like that. Fold this in. 
and then you got your little pocket. But before you glue it or tape it, however you want to do it, um, you want to distress it. So you want to, when you got it closed like this, you want to see, okay, this is the front. So unfold it. You'll want to distress this. Okay, you ain't got to worry about the back here because it's going to be glued down, so it's not going to matter what it looks like. And if you go over on this, that's fine too because this is going to be glued down. But you want to find some book pages that um, are blank like this one. This one under it is not, but this one is. And it must have got a little glue on it. You want to do it kind of light. There. On this. On the front. And do it kind of light. Then you want to flip it over. So remember when you fold this over, this is still showing. So you want to flip it over, and you want to distress this part. See, this got glue all over it. See how it's doing that? That's because there was glue on it. <clears throat> Sometimes you can rub it like this baby wipe. Let's see if I can get the sometimes you can clean it up a little, sometimes you can't. But it'll be okay. Okay. Now You've got your thing distressed. Now what I do is some more. Okay. I have this walnut stain distress. What I do with it is I take in just the edges. I just, it's right here on the edges. See that? Now I just done it on the edge. Okay. And you want to do it, you want to close it. Make sure it's good and closed like it would be if it was glued. You want to get both of these. Oh, something I forgot to do. Sorry. If you got one of these or a corner punch to make the corners round, do that. There. All the way around. Be very careful that you only get it on the corner. Uh, 
bottom. And then you want to open it up and do the top right here. I'm not even in frame. I'm so sorry. Doing horrible at staying in frame. I don't want it so. It's not normal to be out here and still be in frame. But you just want to do it on the edge. Okay. Then I take the vintage photo. Is not wanting to cooperate with my vintage photo, and I go around it again. I like to have my edges very, very dark, but just the edges. See how that's just the edge. And when you're doing this, it will get kind of wobbly and out of shape, but once you glue it all together and everything, it straightens out. It's just holding it so you can distress the edges. It does that. Make sure you open it up and get this edge too. It's easy to forget about that one. You see how <clears throat> I know you can see how the edges are so much darker than the rest of it. That's what I was going for. Okay, now the first one I glued, second one I double sided taped. I think, I'm, I mean, just my opinion. Double-sided tape seemed to be seemed to be easier, and it didn't um, duh, it didn't glue to anything it wasn't supposed to. Um, but using double-sided tape, this is a little more flimsy around the edges than this one is. This one's a little more stiff because of the glue. But I'm just going to use double sided tape. What you do is you open it up, flip it over where this is what you see. Put your tape. Okay, and flip it over. <clears throat> I 
I put two pieces on it because <clears throat> it's thin tape and you want it on the whole thing. Now I take scissors and I cut off the excess. Come off my fingers eventually. Okay. Then you peel this. Make sure it's not sticking over the edge. Mine is just a hair. So just stick it back over itself. Okay, now you flip it back over like this, turn that over, flip that over, and you close it. You got to be careful to make sure it's closed properly, because once that tape touches, that's where it's staying. Sometimes I like to take my distress and just go around one more time around this part to make sure there's no white parts. Okay. Now you've got your pocket. Take something, put it in there, make sure the corners are good. And... Corners, corners kind of iffy on that one. Okay, now it's time to decorate it. Now you can do that many many ways um, it's all up to you on how you want to decorate it um, I was actually thinking about taking a couple and putting some ribbon on it I haven't got any ribbon out um, to do that right now well oh, got this but that wouldn't look too I don't think that would look right. I'd rather have some white, some off white or white. It's not that bad though. But if I was going to do that, I'd have done the flower in blue. If I was going to bl use blue, bluish green ribbon, I'd have just, you want to distress the flower in that color. Or if it's pink ribbon, distressed in pink, if you got the stuff to do that. Um, but this is distressed brown, so I'm just going to stick with what I've been doing and do some stamping. Um, sorry about that. I've been, these two, kind of done like the old-fashioned type thing. This thing about doing like the, the fairies on this one. F -f fairies, can't speak. Um, People put in their package backwards. Um, fairy, these fairies over here, put the flower there, or do this, this fairy here, the flower up there. 
and maybe put it, stamp this here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll use this fairy. Put it here. Put my flower here. And then this um, best wishes. Put it down here like that. Or I can't read what this says. Oh, to my love. No. Yeah. We're going to do it this way. So, you're going to get your stamp, your block. Let's see if this box is empty enough. Get your ink pad. Okay. Ink your stamp. Make sure you get some good ink on it. Make sure it's good and inked. Okay. Then put it on here where you wanted it. Stand up real quick. Make sure it's good and push down on there. It up. There. Got the fairy on there. Now I was going to do the best wishes here. Oh man, pushed too hard on that one. Oh well, it'll be okay. No mistakes, just happy accidents. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one on there. Now, my flower's going to go there, so I'm going to put this I'll put this here. <sighs> and that's the reason I said you want to have enough ink on it. thought I had enough, but Obviously, I didn't. You don't want to do this. I guess I probably just messed mine up. No, I actually stayed on it. Um, it's a little easier to do it with these, but <laughs> I could have just messed it up pretty bad. I was lucky and didn't. Okay. My locks need to be clean. Okay. Then you want to take and your take your flower. Copper. 
You're okay. You're okay. She's going crazy. I think she's wanting to get out for a little bit. Um, a flower on here. And then you've got it. And you have this. A pocket for your junk journals. So I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed and hope you make plenty of the library pockets. And I hope it was helpful. Till next time. Bye, guys.